Hi everyone, it's Kristen. I am um, coming to you live from my closet. That's why I sound so muffled, sort of confined. Here's a closet view. Here's a view of my closet. Bam, bam, bam. There's my figment. All right. So I am updating you because I, this is, I guess, consult two. Um, I had to go with a new surgeon um, due to insurance uh, reasons. But I went and had a consult with him today, and he was fantabulous. He was awesome. He uh, played with my Pillsbury Doughboy um, stomach, um, and he was just awesome. Really, really um, informative, and he could see how much me and my sister both have been researching the sleeve and how excited we are. So, um, yeah, the reason why I went to... Um, the new surgeon was because insurance reasons he was my second choice but I'm really happy it turned out this way because the program that he's a part of it's a bariatric community um all, he basically him and two other surgeons um are you know popping out people with uh uh gastric bypass lap band and the sleeve and um it's a it's a whole community and that's where I strive. I strive in communities. I like having people have my back. You know, that's why I'm on obesity help all the time, you know. Um, I strive with having a community behind me, and that's why I'm really happy that things turned out this way. So, um, during my consult, I weighed in. Yeah. Um, my weight is 295 pounds. Yeah, I gained 7 pounds since, um before I left to Las Vegas. So I could tell you, four of those pounds were gained in Vegas. Three of those pounds have been gained the past two weeks from stress eating and freaking out about getting the surgery on time. With the new place, they went and scheduled all my pre-ops for next week. And my last one's on the 28th. So the last two weeks of January, I'm done doing my pre-ops. I don't have to worry, be stressing, be bugging and calling the people from the other office that I was dealing with. I mean, everything is set. And what's great about them, they put me on the fast track. They, they're letting me cut in line because they want me to have this surgery as soon as possible. I love them. <laughs> um, they accepted my prior uh, test. I had a psych evaluation and um, a meeting with my nutritionist. And they're accepting those. So it's just further getting me closer to getting my surgery date. And um, all, all we, we have to uh, do right now is they're going to submit my um, um, uh, insurance approval um, on uh, the 24th. So um, I'm, really, I'm really excited and happy. It's like here. Um, so estimated, I'm probably going to get this surgery, uh, four to six weeks from now. So, um, probably mid-February to early March, which is awesome. I will be totally happy if that happens. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at with this whole process. Um, I'm excited, people. I am so excited. It's like... All those three months of, you know, when I finally decided I'm going to do it, you know, waiting and waiting for my insurance to go through. And then now, I mean, my God, it's been a mental roller coaster, but it's totally worth it. So, um, my upcoming vlogs, I'm going to do a test one about all my pre-op tests. I'm happy to say I don't have to do a sleep test, um, because I'm so young. I'm a 25 year old that's so young. I don't have to take one, which is pretty cool. I don't have to, you know, do that. Um, then the next one will probably be my date. Yay, I got a date, hopefully. It'd be great. <laughs> and um, liquid diet. I'm going to do a pre-op liquid diet. During then, I'm going to take a before photo. I'm debating if I should take it now. Um, just so that I have my highest weight. And then, hopefully, you know... A year from now or a year and a half from now when I make goal you know um, I have that I can do a side-by-side -side. so that's the plan people um so right now um, I'm sort of I feel bad because my sister as I said she's 17 um, 
basically they told her that the insurance is going to give her a huge hassle on getting her surgery. It hurts me because she really has her heart set on this. Um, she's been like me. We've been yo-yo dieters most, well, all our lives. And she really felt this was going to help her. So the way the people are telling us is that the insurance is probably not going to approve her. So we're getting uh, letters, even though we have a PPO, we don't need them, but we're getting letters from her last two um, physicians um, saying about her weight and how they feel, you know, this would help her and how it's, it's medically necessary for her to get it. Um, I'm also, well, we're both going to be researching articles. If anyone knows any articles about teenagers, um, having weight loss surgery, the statistics, anything you might have, just link it on the bottom if you can, or put the website and we're going to be writing a kick ass. She's going to write a letter to them and I'm going to go over it with her. Um, using the statistics and what she's been doing her whole life. We're going to add that to the bundle that we're going to send to the insurance. And hopefully they'll have a heart and, um, you know, let her get this surgery because I think she deserves it. You know, um, like all of us, you know, it's a struggle. And it sucks when you're in high school. And it's a struggle, you know. Um, so anything really can, can help her right now, help us, um, She's been researching all night uh, articles and trying to get the statistics and, you know, just trying to gather as much information because on Tuesday, this Tuesday, um, Tuesday night, I'm going to be writing it. So any, any little tidbits you guys have gathered, if you guys have had surgery and you are underage, anything would truly help me right now with her. And, um both of us would truly appreciate it if you could just, um, if you have that information, if you could send it our way. That'd be amazing. So, um, everyone just really fight the good fight. If you're fighting with your insurance, keep fighting. Get what you want. Whatever surgery you want. Um, just don't give up, no matter what. That's my big thing right now. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep going. So, <sighs> that's where my little sister's at and I feel bad for her because I I wanted to go through this process with her so it, it may not happen but um we're gonna try as you know tr fight as how you know hard as we can just really just fight 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 so um everyone take care um I will have a awesome awesome um new blog to put up for you guys soon and uh, just take care and keep fighting the good fight. Don't take no for an answer. It's going to happen. Just keep thinking positive and it will happen. Okay? So um, everyone take care. I want to say a big shout out to my obesity help friends. I love you guys. You guys keep me sane. Um, everyone take care and uh, it's going to happen, people. Don't give up.